Good evening hyperspinners. Today we're going to be talking about how to set up a full media set for a system, so get ready. Alright guys, I know it's been a while since the last video that I've published. Uh, I've been on vacation, I've been caught up with a number of other things, so I do apologize, but we are continuing on. So. Today we're going to be talking about uh, a request, and that request was to set up a system and get full media in just the workflow. So there's a number of things that you've probably already seen in some of my playlists, but we're going to pull all of this together and you'll kind of see the uh, workflow here. So I'm going to uh, pull up a number of things, and this is with the assumption that you found all of the media that you're going to be using. And what I've essentially done is just downloaded all this thing for the sake of time and let's go ahead and get started. So uh, the example that we're going to be looking at is uh, the Apple II. I know, weird uh, selection here, but let's just roll with it. So what you're going to do is first open up HyperHQ. You're going to push the main menu wizard and you're going to push the plus sign and you will type in the system that you're after. So. You know, in my case, it's Apple II, and you hit the next button, and you will be prompted to select uh, a submenu uh, radio button. You'll press that, you'll be congratulated, and what you're going to want to do is go to the wheel settings tab here, select from the drop down the system that you chose, and you'll fill in all the things that uh, you want to fill in here. So the executable. I always fill in just for the sake of if I ever want to add these things to a playlist. Uh, so that's uh, agnostic to the system itself. So I've got some wheels that have multiple systems on a single wheel. So, you know, everything's very streamlined. Let's say you want to pull up a, a Mega Man game across any system that basically allows that functionality ha to happen. Uh, but I, I'm not going to go too much into that. But that's why I always have the executable, the emulator path there and then the game path as well and the extension so with this system it's zip comma uh, dsk for the sake of uh, uniformity uh, always make sure that the wheel settings are the same and the navigation i always have the reload backgrounds animate out default themes and the wheels only are displayed so it filters out any of the, th the things that uh, don't have media Video and sounds are default. Special art is set up to my standard uh, frame that I've got in the top and the bottom corners uh, of my system. So that's that. And what this does is once you select uh, HyperHQ and you've set up your system just like as we discussed, what that does is it creates a media folder. So within Hyperspin under media, you'll find that there's an Apple II uh, set of folders here. Uh, which is is good and the first step that you want to do is now we want to create our database so we're gonna go to databases the folder we're gonna go down to Apple II. now I've already done this but I'm gonna walk through the steps here what you'll do is you you will download the the system XML which is Apple II. that's the the meat and potatoes that you're after you can get that from hyperlist or hyperspins uh, download page uh, you can also find it on the FTP uh, a number of places basically so what we're gonna do is what I like to do is break this up into genres which you can see this already and what we do is use this uh, Don's hyperspin list splitter and we select the XML which is going to be your Apple II database and your output folder is going to be your database folder so you just got to find your path of where we are looking at right now. And we're going databases, we're going to Apple II, and that's it. And you'll you know, select genre, you've got a number of other features, but genre is the thing that I care about. And then you push uh, generate XML files. If it doesn't generate after the first click, you, you might have to press it a second time and it will appear and everything's broken out. So that's all you need for the splitter. So I'm going to go ahead and close that since that is done. So there, 
And what I also like to do is I use Hyper Mint, and this is a good way to audit all of your media to make sure that you have uh, all of it. And what I also like to use is I create a genre for favorites. So what I typically do is first you go down to the system, Apple II. I push the little green guys up here, and I've got a tutorial on Hyper Mint. Uh, as a whole, but for what it's worth, what I'm trying to do is create favorites as well as uh, favorite uh, XML. So I'm going to click on the uh, little dongle here, if you will, push uh, to on, so that allows you to edit the XML itself. And you see a couple features here. Uh, we've got favorites and favorite to XML, and then add to genre. So what I do is I pull up uh, basically the top 25 or what what have you. Uh, or just your favorites in general and what we're looking at is we're just going to be clicking some checkboxes So let's go ahead and do this real quick. I'm going to go down to load runner here and Believe it or not, I mean the Apple PC had what? 2,000 games like I don't remember that as a as a kid, but I guess I don't doubt it. I am just really surprised that it had that many games. So load runners check. Uh, we got chop lifter here and chop lifter is there. We're gonna check that. And all right, let's go down. Yeah, and I know I've been away for some time, uh, about two weeks. Uh, went on a quick vacation with uh, the wife and no kids. That was uh, pretty fun and uh, had a lot of good food in Boston and got to see some old friends. So it was a good, good vacation all around. Uh, let's see, here's the other game, Castle Wolf. Yeah, let's do that real quick. And then after that, it should be pretty quick uh, setting this thing up. So uh, the the hardest part of completing these systems is just hunting for the uh, the media as a whole. Uh, it's kind of fun trying to find it and finding good media in general. It, you know, it makes a world of a difference when you're actually uh, looking at the stuff in Hyperspin. And we will do, we've got to have Oregon Trail in here. Let's see here. There's the Oregon Trail, and that's got two discs there, so I'm going to click on both of those. And maybe we just do one or two more here. Um, we'll, we'll stop at the, the Bard's Tale here. Uh, sorry if you guys are Apple fanatics here, and this is blasphemy that I'm only, you know, <laughs> selecting a handful of these games here, but I'm sure there's some really good hidden gems on the Apple too. But hey... We're just going to stick with what we've got here so you guys can move along and, you know, use this as a good example here. So let's go ahead and get the bard here. And uh, let's see here. The bard. So that's interesting. So maybe... Maybe that's not in the sky. We're going to check up in the bees here and then we'll mosey on right along here. The ARD. We're going to go the other way because that is how the alphabet works. And let's see. B there we go. It's like we know what we're doing here. All right, so. The bard's tail, the bard's tail, here we go. So all of that is accounted for. And now what we're gonna do, so I've pretty checked off all the ones that uh, you know I care about. Obviously there's some other gems there. For what it's worth, we're gonna keep on moving. I'm gonna, well, let's go ahead and show you. So right now there is not a favorites file. So when you're in hyperspin and you select the favorites button and you're able to select games, this is what that favorites button is. So I'm going to go and click it. It's going to create a favorites text. You're going to notice nothing's in there. So what we're going to do is push favorites again. And it will, you know, let's, let's keep me honest here. We're going to push it a couple times here. 
Ah, okay. That's that's fun. So we're going to now click the Add to Genre and Fave to XML. It's going to create the Favorites XML, and it should populate. All right, there we go. Again, like I know what I'm doing here. And I want that Favorites file to populate, and I know it does. So I'm going to click that off. Let's see. There we go. That's a little funny there, but it worked. Uh, what I did is I just ended up clicking the off uh, toggle and that ended up populating what I was uh, after. But anyway, so now what I do is I go to genres, I edit that, and then what I like to do is put the favorites uh, genre or that XML that we just created at the top here. So you wanna make sure that the favorites or whatever you name the thing uh, to be exact, so case sensitive and everything. So that's gonna show the favorites wheel uh, when I select genres. And that is it on the Hypermit for now. And you have your nice clean database uh, here. And let's go ahead and uh, move on. So let's go ahead and go to the media now. I'm gonna go to Hyperspin Media. And what you wanna do is go to the main menu wheel next and you're going to create a wheel art for the main menu uh, setup which i've already got here i'm going to go ahead and open it up i like to put a nice border around it uh, as you can see here and we're going to go ahead and close that out and you want to name that as your system wheel next you also want to have a theme so your theme is you know whatever your main menu when you're at hyperspin you're selecting Apple II, uh, this is what uh, you're, you're basically seeing. I try to get cinematic themes whenever possible, so these are videos, and within that uh, theme itself, it's just a background, and it allows a video overlay to happen over it. So under the videos folder under main menu, you're gonna see the Apple II uh, file is this. Oh, it's so good. So anyway, so this was, I, I, I can't give credit to the person that actually created this. Um, I'm not really sure who it was, but um, maybe James Baker, I'm not sure. I mean, there's been a number of people that have cropped up with the cinematic themes, but yeah, that, that's pretty awesome there. So we've got the main menu um, media set up there. And now what we're going to do is get the Apple II setup uh, finished off. So under Apple II, you're going to see I've got images, themes, and videos. Those are the things that I want to populate. So under images, so I, I've got two folders here. One, I've got like the media, and then the other is the actual setup. So this is the actual setup. Here's the media that I basically hunted for, which is a challenge of its own. It's kind of fun. Artwork one, it can be whatever you want, but think of uh, you know basically box art and uh, discs or you know what have you that's what these artwork uh, folders are all about so generally it's box art and uh, disc or cart art so I usually put those in three and four so three is usually box art so there you have it and what I'm gonna do is just copy all this over so this would be wherever you download the thing that's that's what this is and going to artwork three I'm gonna Paste that stuff in there and we're not done yet here because we need this to have the exact name of the games uh, it, well as well as the uh, XML uh, for everything to be seamless but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drop in the disc art as well which is an artwork for and then we're gonna rename this stuff so we are going to artwork for we're gonna paste that in there and what we've got to do now is rename this guy, you know, the, the files. So I'm going to go into Artwork 3, and what we need to do is open up something called Fat Match. This is a fuzzy renamer, so I'm going to go ahead and click Start uh, Wizard, which I've got a tutorial going through all this. You're going to find your, um, your source of your names that are correct and generally speaking it is the name of your game so you're going to find that and what you're going to do is from there you're going to 
select the media that you're wanting to uh, rename this stuff to. So everything's all uniform, so you can see there. And then the images, so we are going to be renaming Artwork 3. And we are going to make those selections. So we're going to Media, and we are going to Apple 2, and we are going to Artwork 3. So that's all you gotta do, hit Start, and it will uh, do its thing. So. I've got matches to greater than 65% and it is going to be selecting the best matched names and rename them to the correct name. So generally speaking, you know, if you've got a good download set, uh, most of the media will be at least 90% matched. Uh, you know, it might be a comma or, you know, parentheses or something that might be misplaced or something, but um, this does a really good job. I've used this uh, for almost every system that I've got. So I just go to select options, select best match. You can see the 100% is matched there. You can see the, the difference here, uh, which everything is outlined perfectly. I don't have to do anything. I don't need, I, like I, I totally trust this thing. I've used it so much. Uh, having that setting of the options of 65% does wonders here. And it is, it, it's a great tool. So. All I got to do is hit rename files. You're going to find all these files move because they are matching. If you find media that's still there, that means there just wasn't a matching name. You can delete those, whatever you want. So what we got to do is open up this folder. I'm going to hit control A to highlight everything and click on those two things because I don't need those. Those are the, the bat files that make all that magic happen. All of these files are named correctly now. So I'm going to go ahead and cut that and go back to artwork three and paste that stuff in there. So I now have Artwork 3 as a totally matched set and I will prove that I'm not crazy here. So uh, next we're gonna do the same thing with Artwork 4. So I'm gonna go back to Fuzzy Match, File Path, and all I gotta do is change the Artwork 3 to Artwork 4 now. So down here, Artwork 4, and we're gonna hit Start again, it's gonna do all the magic and we're just going to do a quick rename and we will get rolling on this. So we are, I don't know, maybe halfway done. Um, yeah, not too bad on time. So you'll essentially follow the same workflow and this is how I've been doing all of the systems, uh, you know, throughout the years. Uh, this definitely is the quickest route. Uh, that I found you know there's more than one way to slice a pie here but uh, this is the best way so here's a good example uh, we've got adventure construction set disc one and this says pinball construction set so there's gonna be a little funny business here and you know for me like that is the only thing that really looks weird here to me the adventure so uh, Let's just look here. So if we go to adventure, well, that's interesting. Okay, pinball construction. Let's just scroll down here and let's just see what the uh, pinball construction looks like here. So there's, yeah, yeah, it's pinball construction. So, so with that, so what this is telling you is that option of 65% is basically saying your level of confidence starts getting a little weird when it's, uh, you know, close to 66 uh, percent so that does not normally happen um, so that that is definitely interesting um, like I could probably count on one hand uh, the number of times that that has happened and that's just the media itself is you know there wasn't a match so you could uh, avoid that situation by increasing that percent in the options tab to be a greater percent, like maybe 75% or something, but really 65 is a good sweet spot, I think. Uh, it does a, a, a really good job. So for example, so there you go. So you've got Auto Duel USA side B, you've got Auto Duel uh, docs and maps. So it, it's tough. And I picked Apple II because I knew it was going to be uh, potentially rocky in terms of the media itself. So you can see there's your auto dual docs and I know with the Apple II there's not a whole lot of media to begin with so uh, that was also another reason so there's only about a hundred to uh, really choose from so yeah I mean what 
you know, why not here? I'm going to just uncheck the 66% there. And let's see here. 70, yeah. Do a quick scan. So now, now we're looking pretty good. So whenever there's multiple checks or, or check boxes, that's when I kind of just like I hesitate for a second and I just look here. So like like that, that's probably okay. But again, we're we're talking like media here that is not well defined. The Apple II does not have uh, a wealth of media, if you will. Kind of what I was saying. There's like 2,000 games, and there's really only like a hundred wheels that are official here. And, uh, you know, there's maybe a hundred for the box art and the, uh, the disc art, but we're going to go ahead and, uh, mosey on and we will, uh, move on here. So let's just see some of this stuff. Yeah. King's quest. So this is matching with King's quest, uh, two, let's just see here. King's quest. King's Quest. So here you go. So yeah, there. So King's Quest here in general. So we've got King's Quest One, but there's also a King's Quest Two game apparently. And what Fuzzy Match is trying to do is trying to match that. I'm okay with that. It's going to create basically another set for King's Quest Two. Doesn't matter to me, but you know, you might be anal there and you might not uh, want that. But I am okay with uh, King's Quest matching all seven or eight games of King Quest unbelievable so who knew man that must have been an awesome game and I'm, I'm sorry for the the one person that's like hey now wait a minute that King Quest is awesome <laughs> we're gonna rename this stuff and move on oh, brother okay so I'm gonna do the same thing copy everything cut it leave the bat files and drop it in back to artwork for now that it's been properly renamed so what we've got is artwork one through four is all set, which we only have three and four populated. I'm gonna go and keep the fuzzy match in there because I don't trust you know, the media as a whole. I wanna make sure everything's uh, named correctly. So uh, next down the line, we've got backgrounds. I just leave that blank that I've never populated that for any of the systems. We're gonna to go to genre. Now I, I do this. Backgrounds, what we're gonna do is go to, no, oh, sorry. What I, I tend to do is I I go to the main uh, backgrounds and what I do is I, I just cherry pick all of the uh, genres that, uh, that match the XML. So what you wanna do is make sure that you pull up your XML. So from your database, you go to Apple II, you've got a list of all your genres and what you want to do is just make sure that all of these names match uh, exactly, uh, case sensitive as well, your uh, your files here. So if you go to you know your favorites you want as well, you want to do that. And yeah, that, that's it. So that is done and we're going to go to wheel. And what we're also going to do is copy that over, paste that over. And just make sure that everything matches the XML names and that will show up. So we've got 46 there and we've got 43. So the 46 comes into play because we've got a genre XML, a favorites and a favorites uh, that matches your total. So 43 of each. We're going to go ahead and move on and letters. So this one is pretty creative. I, I like uh, letters in general. I've made a number of letter sets that are on hyperspin um, so it, it's fun so we're going to replace all 49 of those or whatever it said and the uh, the letters are done so that just goes to images letters and there you have it so that allows you to find games by letter next we've got other so this is your pointer now this is also uh, one of these that I've created a number of uh, pointers on and uploaded to uh, Hyperspin. So you might be using something that I've made, who knows? Uh, so I like that one in particular and pointer is the name of the file. It has to be named that way. And that is it. 
and we are going to go so part particles never really used but you can do some fanciness additional fancy sauce if you uh if you want to some of your themes next we're going to go to special so special is definitely unique and it's the uh, graphic that shows up at the bottom uh, it usually says press start by default but this is where i have my joystick key um, you know basically instructions of what to press you know how to launch a game how to exit all that jazz so uh, what i typically do is i just go to a prior system that i've set up and since i like everything uh, in a uniform fashion i just copy those so i'm just going to go to special and we're going to scroll down you can see i've made a number of different renditions i've also had other people on hyperspin you know make uh, different uh buttons here so it's it's been a good time and this is the uh ultimately the setup that i've designed here so under specials i just deleted everything that comes default when you create something in hyper hq and i'm pasting in the custom set that i've got in my setup so that is the special folder that's going to uh, basically display the graphics that show up at the bottom of the screen. But we're not done yet. I also show the genres in the top right. I basically shrink that uh, down. So what I mean by that is when we go to genres, we go to wheels. What I do is I shrink that down into like a little tiny graphic in the top right so I can quickly reference what genre I'm in in case I'm lazy or I just don't know what I'm doing or someone else is using the thing and they're like okay so what am I looking at every little bit helps especially when you know you're diving into hyperspinning you don't really know what's going on but the more info you can uh, have the better so I'm pasting in the uh, genre wheel art but what we need to do is make this uh, kind of small uh, to you know really fit the bill here so what we got to do is here let me get this to a regular size here we got to pull up something called photo uh, changer I think is what I ultimately found here so it's a free tool and it's on hyperspin uh, FE on the download section of course photo sizer that's that's our guy so what this does is it allows you to uh, basically drag so we're going to be dragging all these files from the special folder I'm going to just unclick all of these and we're going to drag those over and what we're going to do is uh boy so now what is the pixel dimension give me a second here we are going to pull up a prior system that i've done and i don't know we'll just pick something here let's pick a real one instead of those playlists here yeah sure we're going to go to special and what i'm going to do is just open up one of these check in the uh yeah let's see here so this is well here let's do this copy that and we'll see the pixel frame so 114 by 39 so that is the money that we're after here 114 39 so what this means is i'm going to put in here 114 and 39 perfect we're going to select all of these and since i've uh, since i've pasted all of those wheels into the special art and i've dragged all of those over i'm going to go ahead and uh, hit start here and it's going to automatically change the size to all of those so when I pull one of those up, ta-da, there you have it. So special art is now done. And we are gonna close out the photo sizer. Photo sizer. And now we've got the, uh, the wheel art. So um, we know up to this point, everything is set up correctly because the, uh, the names all match the database. Uh, we've used fuzzy uh you know fat match to uh get everything set up now we've got the wheels i'm gonna bring those over and we now have all of the images that i've basically found for the media in here something that i, I like to do it, well let's rename this stuff first so we're going back to fat match i'm gonna go to the wheel art folder this time and we're gonna 
check all the names. Sorting through 10,000 or 2,000 uh, games here, but we only have a hundred wheels, which is kind of funny. But let's be real here: who all is playing the Apple II all 2,000 games? It's good nostalgia, but you know the top hundred games is plenty enough for me. Uh, you know, being 2019 and all. So, um, but I did play a little Oregon Trail. I'll be honest, when I was you know right before I was setting this up. I was like, hey, why not? Haven't done this in a while. So here we go. Let's go ahead and uh, do the best match here. Things are looking good. Yeah, of, yeah, of course, that's a little different, but that's okay. We're, we're just going to do it. We're going to throw Karen in the wind, put trust in this thing. So everything's been renamed. And there you go. Now, I don't particularly like those borders. Uh, you know, they look all right, but they're not streamlined with the rest of my setup. So now what I typically do is I make sure that the borders are right. And you would think, wait a minute, dude, this is not going to work out well, but watch the magic happen. We are going to open up custom or auto custom, uh, I, I guess, wheel arts tool. And we are going to the wheel uh, setting here, and we are going to find our wheel art that we just dropped in there. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. And we are going to the Apple II. Where are you, Apple II? Apple II. We're going to wheel art, and here we go. So now you're like, all right, what is this guy up to? So we're going to take out the gloss because we don't need any of that. We're gonna put the border to Sub-Zero. Oh man, where is Sub-Zero? Sub-Zero is big into, well, he was a big artist in Hyperspin. No one knows where he went. The myth lives on and uh, come back Sub-Zero. So what we're gonna do is I'm using the Sub-Zero um, border here, which is a nice metallic border. And now what we've got to do is we need to go to the wheel se uh, selection here. We're going to select one of these and we're going to change the width. So it's going to stretch the, uh, the canvas out a little bit. Uh, I'm going to click the check for stretch. So it, it moves here. And we are going to uh, try to fit it in here. We'll, we'll see how it, it looks here. I'm going to go and click. Yeah, see, it's almost there. So we are going to cram this in there. So it looks, you know, legit as if it was designed just like that. But you got to be careful. You see the lips around the, uh, the curve there? You don't want that stuff showing. You want it nice and clean. Nice, happy, happy tree. So what I like to do is uh, uncheck the background, or sorry, the uh, border here. So I can kind of visualize here. I feel like it needs to be a little smaller. We're going to just keep doing that. So just to make sure that the the art of the prior wheel does not display over the top of the graphics. So, you know, pick your poison here. You might not care uh, to this extent, but I like, I like the consistency. And I'm, what I'm doing is I'm looking on the outside of the border. So all the corners are covered. I'm also looking on the inside of the uh, the borders itself. So like here and here. And I tend to see it better when I'm clicking on and off here. Um, it seems like it needs to be a little wider. Or I might shift the wheel just a little to the right. So we're going to use this, this x-axis. And yeah, we're going to use it this way. Oh man, it's so close. So we're going to move it down a little bit. Yeah, see, I don't like it. I don't like it. we got to move this down. A little bit more. That's looking pretty decent. we got to move this width just like one click. And 
Sorry guys, this is uh I'm setting this up. I mean this is this is real here, so you are seeing this you're you're making the you're you're watching the sausage getting made here. And this is probably driving you crazy, but I need to make sure <laughs> I like things persistent and I like them nice. I don't want any because what, what we're going to do is when we hit, you know, save list here, it's going to replicate this uh, view for all the wheels. And I am OK with it. I'm OK with it. So there you go. So you can see we're going to just zip right through all of these. So there you have it. It's kind of got an old school look. Um, which is the hyperspin uh, Kool-Aid, if you will. So let's go ahead and do it. We are going to hit save list. If you wanted to select just some of them, you would you know, select these and then save selected. But we're gonna do this and we are going to select the media. We're gonna select Apple II and we are gonna select images and wheels. We've already renamed the files themselves. But now what we're gonna do is watch the magic of the borders just magically display here so you just saw them blink it's still uh, thinking here there you go i don't know if that was french or french or what but thank you uh authors of that app i also use that for every system so there you have it there's the wheel art man it looks so nice hope you agree and there you go so we've got a looks like 134 or 35 wheels uh, that are actually there and we are done with the images so i'm going to go back to apple II. we're going to go to themes so now what we've got to do is find the themes go ahead and on uh, hyperspin you know wherever your favorite place is and you are going to put a default zip file in there that fits your uh, your taste so that's going to be what shows up on your uh, wheel uh, when you select something. So now we've got videos. So now this is interesting. This takes uh, mp4s as well as uh, PNGs. So video files or pictures. And what I like to do is if you've got an obscure system like the Apple II, uh, you won't find a full set of video files. So what I like to do is I just I get gameplay uh, snaps as well and I just dump them in here. And what we want to do is first make sure that the files are named correctly. So we are going to fuzzy match. We are going down to the media and we are going down to wheels this time. Or sorry, uh, video. We're going to start that. It's going to go through its, you know, automation here. We're going to rename all that stuff. And we essentially have a full media setup. So. I'll go ahead and show that off here in uh, just a moment. And since I've got a nested wheel, we've also got to add that uh, funness uh, to our, our setup here. So let's go ahead and uh, get through this and you will see things, uh, how they're done, but we are almost done. And you know, again, the hardest part is just finding this media, renaming all this stuff is easy. It just takes a little bit of time but it is uh, of as much of a hunt, you know, just to find this stuff. And, you know, I, I know, you know, some front ends like LaunchBox will kind of scrape things. That scraper is not perfect. Trust me on that. Uh, a lot of it's scraped from hyperspin, you know, the, let's be real. Most of the art on all the front ends um, are basically supported by hyperspin's art and, uh, which is great, which is fine. Um, for the most part, if, if you're on the Hyperspin forum on the download page, you will find a lot of the art. And if it's not there, then it's on the FTP. Uh, I know a lot of you guys have had hypersync issues. Uh, I myself uh, have that issue where it just doesn't sign in to Hyper, uh, Hyperlist, even though you are a Platinum or you know member and yeah, for what it's worth, everything on Hypersync is on the FTP or the downloads page. Um, I know they're working on improving that. Um, yeah, so 
As you can see, it's zipping through a whole lot of files here. Kind of wondering what those zip files are. That's kind of interesting. Are there zip files in here? I, I, I don't know. Or maybe it's cross-referencing. Yeah, it, it must be cross-referencing the names. Yeah, it's matching the names of the games. Because, yeah, that's your video file. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you see the zip file extension? That was throwing me off, but that's the actual game file name. So we are almost done, and we will uh, show this beauty off. Uh, it's good when a plan comes together, and hopefully when I show you guys everything, it just it pops. It does everything that I'm uh, hoping it, you know, it will do. I've done this so many times, I don't even have to look at Hyperspin. Like, I just know what it's going to do, and I just take a, a two or three minute pass to, uh, to see if it uh, all looks good. So here we go, matched. We're gonna go to best match. And there you have it. So it's matching all that goodness. You can see the PNG. If there's a PNG and an MP4, it's gonna pick the MP4 first, which is amazing just by default. Um, so there you go. We are going, we're doing it throwing Karen to the wind because I trust this app like nothing else. So we're almost done and we are done renaming folks. So we're going to go ahead and close the fuzzy match. You can see here's all of the games. Looks like 57 or sorry, the PNG or the uh, video files that don't match. We're just going to delete those things because we don't need them. We've renamed everything that matches and we are going to copy all that or cut it drop it in here so we know it's all set up so we've got it and to prove keeping me honest here I'm gonna go ahead and open up hypermint again this is a way to check your media I'm gonna click these little worker guys I guess and I'm gonna open this up so we can see it Apple 2 is selected I'm gonna drag artwork 3 I'm gonna drag artwork 4 and videos I'm gonna put videos here because those are the ones that I care about. Uh, generally speaking, the artwork three and four can be a little iffy. And what I do is I just click the wheel art here. And I know for a fact that I don't, oh, that was interesting, it, it crashed on me. That doesn't normally happen. So here we go, we're going right in here and we're going to Apple two. I'm going to check the little worker guys. And we are going to Click the wheel, uh, descending. We're gonna drag artwork three, artwork four, and we're gonna drag the video over here. I'm gonna put that video right next to wheels because those are the ones that I care about. And what I try to do is I, I wanna make sure that if I see a wheel, I wanna see a video just to make things streamlined. So it's interesting that I don't have tube way uh, there, but there you go, it looks, this is why we do these things. So. It's really interesting, um, you know, where that stuff is, um, but we can, uh, I'm going to double check the uh, recycle bin just to make sure I didn't delete one of those things that just weren't named properly. But you can, again, see how the sausage is made. But what we're doing is we're just scanning through here and I'm not going to go through and cause you guys the pain to, uh, you know, get all that matched up. But you can see the wheel art is set to true and then it stops here and below here i've got like 2,000 games that don't have wheel art which again is fine we just don't have any hyperspin uh, official wheel art as a whole and you know i could create uh, text for that wheel art but boy does that just not look good i've been down that road you want the official stuff so i'm i'm good with the hundred uh, uh wheels that we've got here but i'm gonna fill in the uh the videos that are missing, so like Tubeway, uh, what I would do is I would just like open up one of these things and I would find a uh, gameplay. So we'll type in uh, Tubeway, Apple II gameplay. And there you go. We're going to go to images. We're going to copy, oh boy, Tubeway. Ah, that that seems like a knockoff of something. I don't know. 
I wonder if you guys know what two-way is. I have not heard of it, uh, but it does seem like a Tempest sort of game. I, I don't know. All right, so there we go, two-way. It looks like that's it. So I'm going to copy that image, and I'm just going to save it right over the top of this one. I'm going to keep the canvas. I'm using uh, paint.net, by the way, and it's kind of like Photoshop. It's kind of more lean and uh, easier to use, in my opinion. Uh, we are going to go to file save as and we're going to put in this uh, what is this two-way USA two-way USA two-way USA we're saving that and when I push the little worker guy that's gonna turn to true if I name that correct which it doesn't look like I did so tube Oh, it's tube way, yeah, yeah, T-U-B-E, way, U-S-A dot com, or, yeah, 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 why, why, that's really interesting, so the, why is that, oh, oh, yeah, 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 what am I doing, so, what I've done, so it's confusing here, right? Because I've got two media folders. I had one that had all the downloads and then one that had the rename here. So let me go ahead and uh, find TubeWay again and put that in the actual setup here. Um, let's see here. TubeWay, that's the one. We're gonna X out of that because I don't want that. I want the one that we're, yeah, this is the one. Okay, this is the setup here that I've been using the whole time here, showing this off to you guys. So when I paste that into the right folder, I'm going to hit the worker B, and there you go, video is now set to true. So you'll basically go down that and you know make sure everything is set to true. Again, making sure that the wheel and the videos always say true until the last wheel. Um, that's uh, all we can do on these obscure systems because there's not full media. So what we're gonna do is, um, we're gonna check this out and see what it looks like knowing that you know there's like five video files that need to be uh, filled in here but um, let's think here what else uh, might need to be happening I don't think there is anything so we've covered a lot of ground here let's go ahead and look at this thing so we're gonna minimize Windows M show everything closed and let's do it three two one here we go oh I I knew it there is one thing that we're gonna do. There's always something. So, since I've got a nested wheel, the database needs to be included into the main menu. Down, down, left, right, left, right, BAE start. Yeah, 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 yeah. Congratulations, nostalgic unlocked. All right, oh. all right, Siri. Okay, so what we need to do is go to the database folder, and what we need to do is add that to the main menu and then we'll be done. I knew I was forgetting something. So if we go to, first we need to add it to the all. So if, if you have a nested wheel, you need it added to the all. If you uh, don't have a nested wheel, then you wanna make sure that it's in your main menu XML. So what I like to do is I make sure that uh, everything's in descending, or sorry, the uh, order by the year. So I check the year for the system and I think it was like 19, yeah, 77, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So everything's in order here, so I'm putting this in right after dice, which is kind of funny. So you wanna make sure that the game tag is in there because that's just the standard form of um, your XML. And we are naming this Apple II. We're gonna put this under, oh, 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 yeah, yeah. So this is gonna be under computers and it's going to be 77. So we are going to move this. I don't want that there. Because you see arcades. I'm kind of a neat freak, so there's arcades. And I need to go down to computers, which is in its own uh, section here. So there's comp uh, councils, councils, handhelds, and I might have passed it. Too. We're gonna do it the old way. We're gonna find. Here we go, computers. All right, we're just gonna scroll. Okay, so 81. So yeah, it's going, it's going right here. 
So we got the game tag up above it. We got the game tag just below it. We got Apple II, computers, 77. I'm going to just copy that because I know I'm going to probably need this in just a second. So the all XML is completed. I'm going to the computers. And same thing goes here. We got the game tag there. We got the game tag here. And we got Apple II. I'm doing this for as much me as I am you. So we've got the year and the computer. All that is looking good. We're going to close that up. And that, I believe, covers the XMLs. But there's one last step. So we've got computers there. We're good there. So what I'm doing is, oh yes, this, this is the reason why I opened this up. The main menu XML, what we need to do is paste. So if you want HyperSearch to work um, on a nested wheel, you need to make sure that the systems that you want to have searchable in the nested wheel to appear in the bottom of this with uh, enabled set to zero. So Apple two is set to there. Up two and enabled zero. Everything looks nice and fancy there. And we're gonna save that guy. And we are done with the XMLs. And what we need to do now is double check the settings. Sorry, I'm doing this all by memory here, but I know I'm doing this right. And I will be proving this to you in just a hot second. So what we're gonna do is copy, I don't know, we saw DOS there. Let's see, DOS, where's DOS? We're gonna use some of these settings for the nested wheel uh, for the Apple II. DOS is a similar uh, system. It's in the computers, that's why I'm going to that. So we're going to Microsoft DOS. Microsoft DOS, there it is. And that is looking okay. That's not what I'm after. Oh, yeah, yeah. So this is all by memory. The computers, so we don't need to do anything. Everything's already set up with the nested wheel. The computers, I and I, does all the work for us. So need no need there, but food for thought. Um, if you're adding a new nested wheel, that is the kind of thing that you're going to have to do. But I've got a whole nother tutorial on that. No need to worry there. Let's do this. We're testing the Apple II. Here we go. We're just gonna skip that. As much as I love it, it's awesome. Random intro video. Let's find your all-time favorite game. Here we go. So first, um, we're gonna check starting. the uh, all systems. You're gonna see the Apple II is there, and you're gonna see it's awesome. So choose from a list of all systems supported. By let's see. Where did we put this thing here? There she is. The Apple II. There's the awesome sauce. All the borders look good. Choose an Apple II game from the wheel. Entering the wheel. Aliens. Oh yeah. There it is. So the theme looks good. Coloring looks good. The frame looks good. You see the in the top right corner you've got the genre. That's looking all good. And the wheels. Basically I, I only display the wheels that I have which was from Hyper HQ. You can see, oh, there was a Ghostbuster game, I think. Yeah, someone would like that. Okay. <laughs> sure, so th there you have it. So we got we got media on all of these. Maybe I can find one that doesn't have a, a video here. And, uh, oh yeah, let's look at, what was it called? The uh, Two Boy, Two Boy. Here, let's check the letters. Yeah, looking good, uh, look, Pulse, oh yeah. yeah. Yeah, I haven't done that. So there were, remember there was like five or six videos that needed to be filled in. That's what you see, the default video. But let's go to uh, the tube way here. Letters look good. And oh, there you go. So yeah, not bad. The, the pictures uh, all fit in there. So that's what you want to check. And oh, these special art. So something you see in the top left, you see Atari 7800. So since I've got a frame, I've got to customize that. Uh, that graphic, which we can uh, totally do in just a hot second. Might as well show you that. I mean, I've kept you this long. I appreciate you watching. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, watch the uh, genre wheel look and feel here. 
And what we're looking at here is just making sure that all of these uh, display. We want to make sure that everything is alphabetized uh, or capitalized correctly, otherwise it won't show up. And I just kind of breeze through here. The, the pointer looks good. It looks like uh, the climbing might not have worked. Yeah, so you don't see a background for climbing. So we're gonna just look uh, at what that looks like. And let's see, media, Apple II. Where is the Apple II, Apple II? And we're gonna go genre, we're gonna go backgrounds, and we're gonna look for climbing, 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 yeah, okay. So what we gotta do is look at the genre, uh, climbing, Oh, there you go, so it's a JPEG. Looky there, this is why we do these things. We're gonna change this to PNG. Yeah, we're gonna corrupt that file. All right, so here we go. PNG, there she is. We got the climbing action going. We're gonna keep on moving. Again, this is why we do these things. Driving, it looks like that's another guy. Uh, no, it showed up, so let's go back. All right, educational, blah, 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 game show. So mature, we gotta take that out. We got kids around here, maze, and motorcycle. Let's go ahead and do that right now. We're gonna go back over here, and since we're only displaying the wheels, we are going to, we're just gonna delete it. And then you're gonna see that just magically disappears here. Make so up your mind, please. We're gonna, yeah, yeah, Siri. All right, all right, all right. So you're gonna see Mature is no longer there. Simple as that. Um, none of the text uh, from the XML shows up because you've hidden that in Hyper HQ. And platform's looking good. Puzzle, got a few more here. Role play, shoot them up. Shooter, yeah, that's the same. Same art, yep. Sports. Keep on filtering through and then we will we'll be on our way. I think I'm missing the favorites as well. Remember at the at one part, maybe four hours it seems like ago, uh, <laughs> we were talking about favorites in the favorite XML. Yep, there you go. We got skiing, soccer, and tennis. No tennis? Yeah, tennis, okay. Sometimes if you go too fast while the transitions are loading, uh, that background uh, does not load. But you don't normally uh, move, you know, this fast in the middle of things. Uh, or maybe you do. I don't know. Let's see. Tabletop doesn't seem like it's... Uh, no, no, that's right. Tabletop is good. Strategy is the same. Let's just double check. Let's double check just because... Tabletop and strategy. We are going to go to backgrounds. We're going to go to uh, tabletop and strategy. Yeah, there you go. They're the same thing, which is fine. Hey, I'm good with that. Virtual life, water, and action. We're going to get the favorites in here because we need that. We we need that there. So let's see the favorites. Let's see. Is it in here? Is it in here? Uh, no, it's not in here. So. What we're gonna do is go to a prior system because again, remember, I like uniformity. So uh, any of these systems will do. We're gonna go to genre. We're gonna make sure that the, uh, mm, I kinda want a more standard background there. I don't want the star because that represents, you know, Nintendo and such. We don't want any of that. We're gonna go to MAME or something. Uh, we're gonna check that genre. We're going to check the background. We're going to go down to favorites and, oh man, bad example. Let, let's go, let's go more generic here. Let's go, uh, Magnavox. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This, this one's surely going to have a standard background. So favorite, yep. Done. Dunzo. We're going to put that in the backgrounds. We're going to put, oh, favorites already there, but we need the wheel. So let's go ahead and move the wheel over here. We're going to find the favorites, the top picks. So I custom made that. It looks beautiful. I'm going to open that up just so you can see it. Yep. 
I like it a lot. And what we're also going to want to do is, for the sake of timing here, we're going to just go to the special art. We're going to find that favorite that was shrunk down so we don't have to do any of that, you know, rename or resizing business here. We're going to go to special. We're going to drop that favorite, that top picks in there. And now we're going to go back in here. Well, we, we drove a mile around here, but we are back in business. There you go, top picks, just like that. And what we're gonna do is we are just gonna, we're gonna take a look at that. So I just selected top picks, you see in the top right, nice genre art there. We're gonna go to action, we're gonna select that. And there you have it. So the only thing that I, from my perspective is is I need to change the top left and the top right uh, wording and that is a lot easier than you think um, how are we doing on time here so we are don't know how long this has been going on so apologize if this has been this might have been a, a good hour but hey this was a request from a patron and I am dedicated <laughs> So here we go. So what I like to do is I go to cool text and this is where the magic happens here. So what we got to do here is under the, we're going to close one of these out. We're going to go to media. You're going to go to Apple two. And what I do is under special, the thing that we're trying to update is the special art a one. And you're going to find there's a file here and that file is what we are um, needing to edit. So what I've got here is a file that I've just been working from as I'm doing this and it's easily uh, replaceable for this text and it is under Let's see, special art projects, blah, blah, blah. And um, I'm stretching here. I think, yeah, I'm stretching. Um, PNG, nope, 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 assets. Yeah, this is the spot. And this isn't something that you would have available. I mean, you basically make your own or you just take the, take the files as I make them. So I've put all these on the FTP. Yeah, this is the spot. So what we want to do is first, so what generation is the Apple II um, system? So Apple II generation. Wiki does a fantastic job uh, identifying all of this. So this is, let's see, Apple II, 80s era. We are looking for what? What generation is this? And you know what we could do is just look at Microsoft's, uh, or sorry, MS-DOS and see what that is defined because it's so close in the year. Uh, that's what we're gonna do. It's just gonna be a lot easier. It's gonna be accurate. We're gonna go to MS-DOS, which is right next to it. Ah, uh, you hear the ding and here we go. Personal computer. So I, I like to keep things standard. Uh, personal computer and then the the uh, the year here so we're gonna go and close that out and what we're gonna do is find that text and it's glossy you can also do this in Photoshop but to keep things consistent and you know I know some people don't have uh, Photoshop uh, personal computer and what the combination is it's a combination of red one, I think, or dark one and chrome. So I'm gonna select dark one and we are going to select chrome here. Uh, let's see, what was it? Where's chrome? There's three bars. There is, help me find it, crown molding. That's the one, uh, but I think it's backwards. So we want crown molding at the top. So we're gonna do that, crown molding. And we are, yep, yeah, that's the one. And then the bottom one is the dark one. So we are going to go ahead and do dark one. Uh, 
Dark One, Dark One, where are you, Dark One, Dark One? All right, so that's good enough for me. Um, and the size, I feel like it was about 35. I could be wrong, but we're gonna go ahead and uh, take a look here. So I'm going back to uh, paint.net and I used to be a lot quicker at this because I was busting out systems, but this was a special request and the Apple II wasn't something uh, that was set up. So you literally have seen me do this from the very get-go. The only difference was I found the artwork ahead of time to save you guys some time. So here we go. So we are going to drop that out. We got to copy that image over here again. Let's, oh boy, let's go back. Come on. Yeah, it's, it's saved. It's saved. Here we go. So we're going to copy that image. We are going to paste that in there. Yep, there she is. We're going to make that a lot smaller. Not that small. Or that small. That seems to be right. So here we go. Let's see. It should fit right in there. Yep. Yep, that is that's beautiful. So we're, we are going to move this down to, let's say, 25. And we might change that up the outline thickness. It's all coming back. This is like muscle memory. So three thickness, we're gonna copy that. We're gonna drag that over. That seems to be a little small. Bear with me guys, bear with me. We're gonna go 30. Yep, that is looking, looking good. So I try to just eyeball this to make it uh, center. And after I've done that, now we got to put the year in. So the years, I try to put the start and the ending of this. And it looks like 1977. And we are going to put that in here, 1977. And we got to find out when the series closed off. So 1977, wow, it just continued in 1993. Huh, I remember playing, you know, at school, it was so high tech. It was great. Um, so 1993, let's let's do this. 1993, enough, enough of me. All right, so we're gonna copy that. We're gonna paste this in there. We're gonna make sure that this is all centered. That's right on there. That's looking looking good. Move that over just a little bit. I'm pretty happy with that. All right, so now all we got to do is change this up at the top. Uh, which one? We, okay, yeah, it's layer five. So that's the thing we're after. Since this is computers, I'm going to leave that little icon uh, there. I'm just using the control button in the mouse uh, wheel. And it looks like I cut off a little bit. So we're going to, there we go. And so I was able to do that because of layering, if you will. Um, what am I typing in here? Apple II. So we're going to type in Apple II. And there she is. And kind of make this center here. So we're going to put that right about there. And we're going to move that icon a little bit to the right here. So I'm probably making this a little easy on you guys. Uh, hopefully it's uh, helping you guys along the way. I enjoy it. If you can't tell. Um, yeah, that's, yeah, let's see here. It's a little off center maybe. Should have done this live or something. I could be like asking you guys, like, what do you think and getting suggestions but you guys are probably asleep it's almost bedtime um yeah, that's looking good all right so all we've got to do now is save this file down to a png so the layers go away so we're just going to go file save as and we are going to go i don't know put that in here i'm going to just drop this somewhere we're going to call this uh apple 2 we're just going to call it apple we're just gonna call it Apple. 
All right, so that is done. And the topping to all of this is we are going to the location that I saved that file. And all we've got to do is drop that Apple PNG into the special art, believe it or not. So I'm kind of interested to see how long this whole process has taken because that like I'm I'm teaching you guys as well as just doing it. So it's taking a little longer than what uh, it usually takes for me, but it's a pretty good representation of, you know, once you get to know what you're doing, like this is the flow, like I, I didn't go out of order that like this is exactly how I would have done it, uh, even if I wasn't doing a recording session here. Um, there is one additional thing that I like to do, and that's just add something to uh, hyperspeech. Um, just in case that option is something that you, you know, basically want. You know, I, I'm kind of indifferent. Sometimes I want it on, sometimes I don't. I don't know why this is, thing's taking so long. Why is this taking so long? Um, I'm going to exit out of that. We're going to replace. Yeah, we're going to. Why are you taking so long, dude? Um, we're going to go a. EE, we're gonna go Apple. All right, so that is done, donezo, and they're unsafe. No, okay. Let's uh, let's save this guy. Why why can't I save this? Why is it, why is it reading? Seriously, guys, I can't plan for this stuff. I don't know why it's reading like that. So I'm trying to just save. At the end of the day, all I'm trying to do is replace the uh, file, which I've done there. There we go, now we can save it. Thank you very much, JPEX. So that's a way to edit the SWF files. Um, later tutorial on that. So we are done. We are done with all of that media. And what we need to do is update the uh, hyperspeech and all you gotta do is go to the INI. Let's just see if the standard has Apple. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's see, no, nope. that's the Commodore. No, Apple, really? Okay. I mean, let's be real. I don't have, I don't have Apple as a system until now. Uh, so let's go ahead and add it. So we're gonna add Apple to, you gotta add it just like the system name and then add bio to it apple to bio and i like to go to wiki and i take uh, i usually take the first like few sentences um because you don't want her just to go crazy on you she'll just keep talking despite the introduction blah 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 you don't want her saying all this stuff the apple II was first sold on 1977 by the production somewhere between five and six million Apple II series computers had been produced the Apple II was one of the largest yep that's that's our guy and we're gonna take out the things in parentheses so it sounds nice and clean when she's saying it the Apple II was first sold in 19 and June 10th 1977 we're gonna take out that by the end of the production, 1993, somewhere between five and six million Apple II Siri computers have been produced. And we're going to take out the reference here. The Apple II was one of the longest running mass produced home computer series with models in the production of just under 17 years. Fantastic. We have an Apple II bio. And we are now done. Get the beers, get the balloons, and the party hats. We are done. So we're going to go down to Apple II. Microsoft. Apple II. We got the beeping, bumping. All right. Switching to Apple II. Here we go. So we got Apple II, top left corner, looking good. Genre. That wheel art is looking good. Computers. Uh, personal computers, the year. It's looking fantastic. I am really happy about that. We got the pointer looking good. And so let's check the uh, favorites. A few favorites. Yep, those look good. 
yep there's no yep tank. no drowner wheel there's that's good and i thank you for watching and listening uh for this however long of tutorial i hope that helps you guys and we will catch you next time